Augmented reality is a technology that allows us to place uh, computer-generated 3D content into the real world. This can happen through a smartphone or a tablet, devices we all use in everyday lives, or even more experimental immersive head-mounted displays like the Microsoft HoloLens. The way augmented reality works is by recognizing the features of a specific image or a tracker image, like we call them, and use that to drive the positions of our virtual 3D objects. These images can be anything from a brochure to a picture or even a marker on a person's body. In the last few years, the technology has advanced considerably. Now we can do things like detecting the locations of walls and flat surfaces in a room, place content directly on them without needing to use a tracker image. Just imagine being in a room surrounded by cells. That kind of interactive experience really pushes immersion to the next level. Augmented reality is a bit unique, it's a bit different. We at Random42 harness the incredible communicative powers of AR to deliver various forms of digital interactive solutions. AR quite literally places the science in front of you. AR gives viewers the ability to experience our scientific imaging in context. With this, we can experience scientific research and theory in its most relevant and ideal environment. We can augment real-world forms with future possibilities in medical technology and research. Augmented reality can play a huge role in content personalization, becoming a great tool for promoting scientific research in new and unique ways. We can use AR to reveal hidden information about the world around us in an engaging and entertaining way. For a company like Random42, it makes a lot of sense for us to be using tools like Unity and Unreal Engine, which are traditionally used for making video game content. Over the last few years, the technology has improved dramatically and it's brought us much closer to achieving the same level of realism in detail in our interactive content that we get in our 3D animations. A lot of the obstacles that we had with realistic lighting, texture, material, and animation are now much easier to manage. We've also got much better tools to collaborate with 3D artists. It's much easier now for them to make a scene, send it to us, test it in AR, and make changes to really perfect the look and keep it consistent with the 3D animation. Random42 has been making realistic cells, DNA, and other structures found within the human body for over two decades. But for the first time, we can take those very same cells, put them in AR, drop them on a table, approach them physically, and really interact with them in the real world.